Good morning, grade sevens and eights, or maybe grade seven and eights, good afternoon, uh, depending on when I can get this uploaded to Schoology. Some of you have probably heard that, or experienced anyway, that Schoology has been having some issues in the morning. They've been trying to update their servers to handle all the new traffic with everybody trying to do online learning. So um, we will get this up when we can. They've kind of told us that we should be back to normal, hopefully by Monday or so next week. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, grade sevens today. Today we are doing something that's uh, usually kind of fun and we usually get to use the math manipulatives that the school board provides for us. However, today I had to go digging in the Lego box to find my own manipulatives. So I could have found things that looked like this, but that's not so handy. And then I found parts of things like this that looks like Batman was dead somewhere. But I did find some shapes that I could use that look kind of like these. So. If you guys have any Lego today, it might be handy to crack some of that out. Um, it's not going to be ideal because you can't connect everything quite the way you normally would. Um, but again, in these times, we'll do as best we can. So if you look at this shape that we've got right here, we're going to be looking at front, top and side views of things today and drawing those images. So I have somewhat recreated that right here. So yes, I put the little platform on the bottom that's not in this image. So this gray piece along the bottom right here is not part of the image but it helped to hold my shapes together. So, and I did use uh, a long two by four piece instead of some extra squares, but you get the general idea. Um, if you take a look at these, this shape is similar to the one that's there. And what we're asking you guys to do today is to take a look at these shapes and be able to take them and examine them from different viewpoints. So for example, we've got the right view. If we come over to the right, we'll notice that the view from the right looks something like this. So I have drawn that outside shape. What we need you guys to do then, of course, is to add in the rest of the lines so that it would look like this, like this, like this, and like this when you're finished. And that shape would match the one that's there. Well, basically, if it wasn't for my poor art drawing. So, and that would be plenty good enough for you guys as well. Then we could look at something like the front. So then we'd have to sort of mentally turn this, or if you built it, you could do it yourself. And we'd look at it and the image would look something like this. So from the front, this image actually kind of looks like a big rectangle. But now we need to separate this out and say, okay, let's break it up into the six cubes that we know are there. So looking at it from here, if we put this piece down beside, we have cube one, cube two, and cube three. And we've got here cube one, two, and three. The thing we'd want you to do, be able to do with your images, though, is to indicate changes in depth. So we do that by making a thicker line in the spot where depth changes. So if I do that, that indicates that one of these sides, for example, it could be that this side sticks out this way more than this one, or that this piece here sticks out further than these ones. Some of you might go, well, how would you know which one sticks out more? But if you took a look at your image and you said it looked like this, when we draw the right side image, we see that the bottom actually sticks out further. So you actually need multiple images to be able to reproduce the 3D shape. So generally speaking, this is kind of what the grade sevens are going to be doing today. Um, you may find that you get distracted by other Lego pieces like boats and other miscellaneous pieces, but there's nothing wrong with playing with some Lego for the day. Um, but generally speaking, you're looking at doing these kind of things today. You're doing front, top, right, left side views. Um, and you're going to be submitting those when you can get a chance to do so. So that's that for today for grade sevens. I guess the last thing we could do is we could say, what would the top look like? And if we took a look at that piece again with my shape, you'd look at it and go, hey, wait a minute. That looks an awful lot like the piece we already drew. So it's going to be a two by three piece or piece that looks something like this. So there's our piece from the top and we have to draw a heavy shaded line where it's changed depth. So if I look at that, it looks like it's changed depth here again and it has, but now obviously the top is sticking out more and that would be easy to tell if we went and took a look at the right hand view. So by the time you get three sketches or so, you're all set. So today's math for grade sevens is basically doing a bunch of these front, top, right, left kind of views. May or may not be handy to have some Lego. The drawings are good enough for some people. It really depends on how good you are vis visual spatially. Grade eights, today we don't have a heck of a lot to add to your math other than we're adding in a quick lesson on angles in a triangle. So no matter which triangle we looked at, 
what we're really going to be telling you today, of course, and I think many of you already know this, is that this angle plus, whoa, well, it's hard to do through a camera, plus this angle plus this angle always give me a grand total of, and I think most of you know this now, of 180 degrees. And we'd look at that and that would mean that this plus this plus this or 180, this plus this plus this or 180. You could go even to a weird triangle, which hopefully would have straighter lines if you used a ruler. And this plus this plus this would also equal 180. It's a universal relationship, kind of like pi is a universal value of 3.1415926. Anyway, you get the idea. So for those of you going, I don't quite understand why that's so, we're gonna take a quick look at this shape here today. I'm gonna bring it over and we'll reassemble it over here. Um, here's a triangle. So what I've done is I've cut myself out a triangle. Move this up a little bit to make it a little easier for you to see. Um, here's the triangle. What I've done now is I've said, imagine this is angle Y, this is angle X, and this is angle Z. I'm not giving them numbers just so that we can see what happens. If I took angle X and folded it in like this, and I took angle Y and I folded it in like this, no matter what those two angles were, if I take angle Z from the top and add it to them, and you could do this with any triangle, or any triangle and reassemble it, you get a straight line when you put all the angles together. And we all know that a straight line equals a total of 180 degrees. So no matter which triangle we take, when we take all three of the angles and put them together, we always get 180 degrees. That can help us with these angle problems because we could look at things like this then and start to go, well, I know some things from last day, like opposite angles, this would give me, I'd know this would be 110. And you might go, well, heck, I know this too because this is a straight line, so this has to be 70. This is opposite, so this is 70. And some of you then are gonna go, but wait a minute, I know this is 30, so this has to be 30. And you go, well, this has to be 108, so this has to be 150. And you're gonna go, but, 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 what about this one? Well, you do now know that everything inside a triangle sums to a total of 180 degrees. So 110 plus the 30 is 130. Take 130 away from 180 and I get 50 degrees. From there, now I can finish up the rest of this and say that this is 50 degrees. I know that 180 minus 50, this also has to be 30. This is 30. And I filled in every angle on this page by adding in that extra piece today that we've given you with angles in a triangle. So basically today, grade eights, you're going to be adding that into the mix and doing a few more angle relationship practice questions. Expect on Monday that we are going to give you um, a question or two that are kind of going to be like a mini quiz on the things you've been done. Same with the grade sevens. And we'll give you some feedback on that to let people know how they're doing. So other than that, hopefully you guys are all doing fairly well. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us or post things on the forum for people to help you. And good luck with your math. And perhaps you will build something crafty out of Lego today that you would also like to share. Take care, folks. Goodbye.